Hey, what is up guys? It is me. I'm back again with another video. A very late one. It's uh, 11 o'clock here on the East Coast. Um, I was uh, playing some Duke Nukem 3D on my PlayStation Vita tonight and uh, I got tired of looking at the small screen. So I had to do some Googling to see if I could cast uh, the PlayStation Vita onto my TV. But there's nothing out there unless I get myself a PlayStation Vita TV or PlayStation TV or something like that. So I found this plugin um, that I could cast the um, PlayStation Vita to directly to my laptop, and it's called the PS Vita Play. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download the files for the PS Vita Play, how to activate them, and how to have fun playing your PlayStation Vita through your laptop screen or desktop. Um, it's a lot easier and it works nice along with the uh, PlayStation 4 controller plugin as well. Um, I'll go through the whole thing. Description. Uh, the links will be in the description below, like always. Um, other than that, um, we might as well get to it. Like I said, all the links will be in the description. Uh, I'm just highlighting some information I think you guys should know beforehand. You're more than welcome to read this over if you'd like, or you just watch the video and just watch what I do. Um, but it's always a good thing to read what you're actually downloading and what you're actually going to be installing. Always download the newest um, plugins and applications, otherwise you might do harm to your Vita or brick it. Um, double check to see if you have a 64 or 32-bit system you're working with. Um, that's a, that's going to be a big factor in downloading these files. Right here, the zip file, I should say. The .vpk, don't worry about that. It has nothing to do with the Windows. But definitely download uh, the correct um, zip file. I'm working with a 64-bit, so I'm going to download a 64-bit um, zip file. And these files don't take too long. But um, as you can tell in the left-hand corner of the screen, um, once, these, once both files are downloaded, you're good to go with the computer side, and for the time being, I'm going to be swapping back and forth. Um, so let's go to the Vita, load that Vita up. Now you want to scroll down with the D-pad or your thumb to the Vita shell. Let's wait a few seconds. From here, you want to hit the select. Wait for the FTP numbers. Go back to your desktop. Open up your FTP program, whatever you use and connect that to your Vita. Now once the Vita is loaded, you want to scroll down to see where your UXO folder is. You open that, then you want to find your VPK. Now find the folder where you downloaded the VPK. Drag that file to the VPK folder on the PS Vita. Once it's downloaded, or swapped over, transferred over, Disconnect, you're good to go with the um, computer side. Now I'm just going to extract the files that I downloaded from the uh, zip file. So I don't have to do it later on. It's really not that big of a zip file, which is nice. So I just deleted both files since I don't need them anymore. The zip and the VPK. So let's head back over to the PlayStation Vita. Close that box with the FTP numbers on them, or in them, I should say. Scroll down to where you say UXO. Enter that folder. Scroll down to the VPK folder and install a remote PC.VPK file. Now, this should take a little while. It's a like a 26, 28 megabyte file. Um, I'm running out of room, actually, on my like, Vita, my modded one. I ordered myself off Amazon today a 512 gigabyte. SD card along with the SD to Vita adapter. So once I get those in, I'll do a video on that. So I can have a bunch more room for video games and stuff like that. Uh, and the Duke Nukem game that I've been playing, it's like 400 and something odd megabytes. Along with the other little apps that I've installed and kept as well. So things do add up. So after that gets done more than welcome to delete the VPK like I'm doing right now or you could just keep it on your system if you want it doesn't hurt 
reboot the device. Once that's booted, just give it a few minutes or seconds, whatever, and you can see right there it was installed perfectly fine. Now I'm just showing you that if you boot it up, um, you could definitely boot it up, but it's going to ask you for like an IP address, and I don't know. It took me a while to figure it out that I don't even need to insert an IP address. So, at any rate, go back to the computer. What you want to do from here, I'm going to show you um, the two files that you might want to check out. This, so you could, when you boot up your computer, um, the PS Vita um, window will automatically open. And this is where you'll play your PlayStation Vita games on this screen. If you hit the escape, it makes the screen bigger. So as you can tell, it's not even connected yet. So let's head over back to the PlayStation Vita. We're going to open up Auto Plugin 2, which I love to call Auto Plugins 2 for some reason. I feel like it, there should be an S at the end. And um, what we want to do here, we want to go to the Vita Plugins section. We want to scroll down all the way down to the very bottom. And we're going to find a plugin that we could use the USB cable to the PlayStation Vita to stream our um, content from the Vita to the laptop screen. So once that in is installed, you want to back out, reboot. You have no choice anyway. So let's head back to the computer. As you can tell, it's still not connected. Now what? You're thinking, oh crap, did I do something wrong? But nope. You did not. Um, I'm going to show you um, that you could download the file on the computer and transfer it over through the FTP if you'd like um, with the file that we just got with the auto plugin too. But if you do this from the computer side and transferring it over to the FTP, um, you're going to need to open up config.txt. Um, and you're going to need to enter in some line of code that I highlighted right there. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, definitely download auto plug into people and have that um, installed, do it automatically for you if you don't want to mess anything up. So I'll leave that link down there. And as you can tell, I got my laptop right in front of me along with my PS Vita, the remote PC. I probably need an IP address to remote PC it without actually using the USB cable. But as you can tell, I'm um, plugging in the USB cable to the um, PlayStation Vita. And as you can tell, it's just a white screen. Now, it took me a while to figure out what to do, how to Google it. And I'll tell you what to do now and stuff like that. It's, it's a wicked easy fix. It really is. What you want to do is click on the Windows icon and just type in device and it'll come up with a device manager. And what you want to do is go to the camera section. That'll be your webcam and disable the, what I have is the HP Wide Vision HD. Just disable that. And as you can tell, you saw the PS Vita icon right beneath it. Go back to your desktop or wherever you downloaded uh, the PS Vita Play. Open up um, the program. And just give it a few seconds, and voila, it actually works. It's a neat little uh, little application, somebody coded. It's great, especially on like a 15-inch laptop screen. It's just, it's awesome. And everything's functional, too. Um, I was using my PlayStation 4 controller, as you could tell. On that screen with the Wi-Fi signal, the Bluetooth signal is there, and I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller, which makes um, Duke Nukem so much easier to play. I'm not really fond of those joysticks, man. Like I said earlier, I think they're going to fall off. They feel very chintzy and cheesy, and they don't, they don't feel good, but that's just my opinion. So I'm just going to show you some gameplay um, through my laptop, through the PlayStation Vita. I'm streaming to the laptop.
I like it so far. It's not like laggy or anything like that either. So you don't even need to actually click on the uh, remote, um, whatever it was, remote access or remote P PC bubble. Well, that's it, guys. That's that's it for the video. Thanks for sticking around. If you did, if you fast forwarded, that's fine too. Um, you can always Google this information if you don't watch want to watch the video. It's totally up to you. But um, hopefully, this video helped you guys out. Definitely helped me out. Now I don't have to strain my eyes. As you can see, it's running on the PC right now, and uh, it's awesome, especially when I can use my PlayStation 4 controller. It's that's the that's awesome. That's the that rules. But um, other than that, please be kind to one another. Have a great Fourth of July if you guys celebrate it. Um, don't drink too much. Don't do anything stupid. Don't drink and drive. Um, other than that, hopefully I catch you guys later. Um, links will be in the description. If you got if you guys want to talk to me, hit me up. Um, drop a comment, a like, dislike, you name it. And hopefully I'll catch you guys later on.